correspondent Jenny Hill has been to the Polish side of the border. Her report contains some images you may find distressing right from the start. In the freezing darkness of a Polish forest, the human cost of the political deadlock. This woman is severely hypothermic and, we're told, pregnant. She'd made it across the border from Belarus. Volunteers, then border guards, found her here with her husband and five children. They're in police custody, she's in hospital, and two other men who were with them were reportedly pushed back into Belarus. There were five kids among them. Piotr, who was there and gave us the footage, is from an informal network of people who try to help those who make it across the border. Whether you are pro-refugees or against them, I think we all deeply agree that people need some basic humanitarian help. At the border, desperation. People trapped in the cold of a makeshift camp on the Belarusian side. Poland refuses to let them in and today accused Belarus, backed by Russia, of preparing the people here to storm the EU border en masse. Some people have made it across the border. They're hiding in the forests along its length. Behind them, a hostile Belarusian border force. Ahead of them, a Europe where they're not really wanted. And the Polish government would prefer you not to know about them. Journalists and aid agencies are banned from getting too close to the border. But Misha lives inside the exclusion zone and helps the people he sees. Uh, recently I met a group of 25 people from Iraq and before 15 from Syria, some guys from Somalia, some people from Turkey, so probably around 100 or something. We went back to the woods where the young family was found. The geopolitical standoff continues, Belarus and Russia against Poland in the West. These scattered possessions, a reminder of those caught in the middle. Jenny Hill, BBC News, Poland. Well, Jenny is on the Polish side of the border. We can go to our Moscow correspondent, Steve Rosenberg, who's on the other side now. He's in Bruzhki on the Belarusian side of that border with Poland. Monitoring the situation here, which is very tense, because hundreds of migrants have just pushed their way through the gate on the Belarusian side of the border, right up to the checkpoint with Poland. From what we saw, Belarusian forces made no attempt to stop them. They were allowed right through. As you can see, many of them have sat down here. They're determined to stay until they're allowed into Poland into the European Union. See, what you have in effect is a standoff between the migrants on one side and the Polish police, Polish troops on the other. Steve Rosenberg reporting. Uh, we